Hey everyone, John from ARTV. It's time for another album review. Today I'm talking about a lesser known band, but one that should definitely be on your radar. They've been around since 2009, originally just a solo member, Dylan Baldy, Baldi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I probably fucked that up and butchered it, and I've lost credit in the indie community, but I must push forward anyways. The fifth album is called Life Without Sound, and once again, I really like the title of the album. I got into them back in 2012 with Attack on Memory, still my favorite album by them to date, and that just grabbed me for some reason. I saw the title of the song Wasted Days, fell in love with that, and honestly it's one of my favorite songs of all time, definitely one of my favorite six plus minute songs, just an epic wandering tune that really just saw them being very spastic, very noisy, definitely catering to that noise rock type of music, and then moving forward with their album Here and Nowhere Else, I found myself immersed even more. But at that point, honestly, after about 2015, 2016 especially, I just kind of forgot that they existed for whatever reason. Obviously, I heard the split that they did, the little collab album, thought it was pretty solid overall, but I wanted something from just Cloud Nothings. I wanted to see what they would do next, and after that came out, I just kind of forgot about them for whatever reason, and now I'm happy to be reminded that they are back making some good music, making some killer tunes, and they're back with a very just straightforward rock album, I would say. It's not so much on the noise rock side of things, or even some of those punk or even post-hardcore elements that they had featured in the past. I would say that this is much more of a cleanly produced, I, I you know, put an asterisk there because I don't feel like it's super clean by any means. Still very rough around the edges, kind of like that lo-fi appeal in places as well, but I do feel like it's a lot more clean than some of their past projects and there's no problem with that whatsoever all bands need to evolve and I expected this from Cloud Nothings at some point and I'm glad that we got it and definitely a pretty pretty entertaining way overall now right off the bat they lure you in with a track that just shows you that things are gonna be a little bit different this time around up to the surface one of my favorite tracks on here makes great use of the pianos that's how it kind of rolls out the album and I won't say that that's necessarily what sets the tone for the entire record but it is a great starting track before the guitars start to rollick and the drums start to pound and there are some crazy drum performances on here just look to some of the closing tracks like strange year and of course realize my fate just a chaotic outro on that one have to commend their drummer there i think the vocals here all throughout the record are a lot catchier i would say kind of a, a new hook to them that i didn't really see with them in the past not that some of their songs weren't catchy and ingrained in your mind but i think it's for different reasons that they're sticking the musicality just feels very very tight and they're really weaving these songs together quite nicely came out with a nice batch of nine tracks now if you're looking for like a longer album from them you're probably never gonna get that I don't think they've ever made a record that's longer than like nine or so songs especially their last three and the split with waves just kind of like mellowing out around like the 30 minute mark in here this is a little bit longer of one 37 minutes and once again being released on their longtime label car park records originally signed as a solo act which is crazy just to see how far they've come now modern act was released as the lead single here definitely a vivacious spirit on this one i love just how hooky that one is it's got a great guitar melody on it the drumming just parallels quite nicely with the rest of the musicianship there a very enthralling track and it actually got me quite interested to see what was to come and i have to say that some of my favorites aren't exactly some of the ones that maybe you would expect i wouldn't label modern act as a top favorite for me rather i would look to moments like the one that I mentioned already, Up to the Surface, or else Inner Entirely, one that has a killer guitar solo on it. I love how mellow it feels. Just kind of seems like he's reflecting on life here, and Dylan's kind of spouting off some of the things that come to his mind, whatever he thinks about aspects on his life. A little bit of introspection there, and I always enjoy that whenever an artist can take a minute to reflect at what point they are in their life. You know, Dylan actually dropped out of school to pursue his career in music after kind of taking off somewhat in like 2009, 2010, he had a couple of fake bands on MySpace and one of those was Cloud Nothings. And just look what that can do for you. Maybe you make a fake band and you get an offer to play a gig and you're like, ah shit, I should round up some friends. And here we have Cloud Nothings. They put together their fifth album at this point. I really think there's some killer stuff on here. There's a few that don't do as much for me and they just feel a little bit scattered 
and tattered, if you know what I mean there. I think Things Are Right With You is one of those tracks. It kind of gets bent on this reflection and kind of repetition, and repetition is what kills a few parts of this record for me. Whenever it comes to the catchy stuff, I do feel like they did get a little bit repetitive with some of the lyrical content, but it's not a huge flaw for the record. It's just something that I notice on moments like Things Are Right With You in particular. Strange Year just didn't stand out musically, so that made me focus a little bit more kind of honing in on the lyrical content, and it just wasn't quite there. But overall, I did have a blast with the album. From the harder rock tinged Darken Rings, which is just absolutely kick ass, to the closer Realize My Fate, which is once again kind of an introspective moment that I thoroughly enjoy. I don't feel like this record is anything necessarily groundbreaking, but at the same time, they are kicking out quality material from the world of rock music, just rock and roll, and definitely some other influences like punk, lo-fi, and obviously things that have stuck with them their entire career. It's just hard to find a good rock album these days, quality all around, and Cloud Nothings are doing it better than most. So I definitely have to give this album a recommendation. Me personally, I'm gonna go with a four for the new Cloud Nothings, Life Without Sound. A life that I would not want to imagine. Thanks so much if you did watch my review today. I know these reviews of smaller artists don't tend to pick up very many views, but I do appreciate those of you who watch. Click to see my last Cloud Nothings review or another smaller band that I think that you will like by clicking these little annotations. Social media linked in the description, and other than that, I'll see you very soon on ARTV.